We're working on renewable energy right now. We're building a wind turbine. I think the biggest challenge was actually just uh, putting everything together and uh, just seeing how It's a relatively simple task. The goal is to power a 3.6 volt LED light. But building a efficient um, wind generator is the hard part. As you can see, it takes a pretty big wind generator to power a light that's that small. Well, when I first took this class and heard that we had to build wind generators, I was really intimidated and you know, I had no idea how one would go about building a wind generator, but you learn over the course of a few months that you can do a lot more than you thought you could and you know, here we are two months later actually in the lab building working windmills and that's something that I never expected that I would know how to do and now I feel confident with the skills. I really like the hands-on portion of it, like how we were actually able to build the turbine instead of instead of just designing it, we were actually able to like get the wood, like have the material and like actually see it work and it's it's been a good process, I'd say. Yeah. You get a chance to apply like even the physics and mathematical knowledge you learn in other classes without the professor or the teachers, if you're in high school, holding your hand every step of the way. Kind of like they say, you have to power this LED and we have to decide what we want to build, how we're going to build it, and just put it all together into one comprehensive project. So a big thing was the budget and we only had $200 and our blades themselves cost about $115. So it was difficult trying to find um, the rest of the pieces for our windmill that would fit in that budget. But, you know, we looked online and we went to some local hardware store, so we ended up being okay and we're just about under budget, but we're pretty close, so that was a challenge. And it looks like you, you saved a bit with that plastic box on top. Right? <laughs> yeah. Of yeah, it actually was. I just brought that from my house, so that was not in our budget at all, which is nice. Engineers are definitely people who are out there creating new ideas and new systems to power you know, the world. It's really the engineers who are putting out the new ideas for um, creating alternative energy, which is something that we've been able to do in this class, which is great. Uh, my first team, we all had slightly different backgrounds. Some were good at uh, the creativity aspect, a few were good at mechanical, aerodynamics, electrical. So that's, that's one of the benefits of teamwork. You learn from the others. Like everything you do depends on how well you work with the team. You have to work, like I've really, I don't know if I've gotten lucky or like, um, but I've ended up with really good teams this time. If somebody has like a certain skill, like um, one kid in my group, he's really good with CAD and like we were able to watch him do that and then we also got like some experience doing that too. You can accomplish so much more and s create so many better ideas if you have four people working on a project instead of just yourself and I definitely think that this class has done a good job of showing what four people can do as opposed to one person so it's been a good experience. I mean we actually were able to build a real wind generator and it's working and it's on the roof of the Space Research Building. You know, it's your second semester in college and you know how to build a full working wind generator. So just know that, you know, you may not think you can do something, but you're in a really good engineering school and they're going to teach you a lot more than you think you could ever learn. And you're going to be able to do really great things.